All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back to check out the Discord music bot, Flavabot. And this is a bot that allows you to not only play all of your favorite music on Discord to share with your friends, but also has a few different utilitarian commands thrown on top of that that makes it really easy to use it and throws in a few extra frills and thrills to make it a little bit easier to do stuff on Discord in general. All right, so to add this bot to our Discord server, all we have to do is click on the Add Flavabot button, and this will take us to the standard Discord bot invite screen, which will ask me what server I want to put this on, and I'll put it on my Chupacabra test server. Click Continue, give it all the different permissions that it wants, and then I will just say, yes, I am in fact human, I am not a robot, or some type of space laser alien. And then it'll ask me to authorize one more time in order to log in, and it'll show me up here in the upper right-hand corner, and I can also go to the dashboard. So let's just pop over, to start with, to the Flavabot commands list, where you can see all the different music commands. And we'll put that over here. And here you can see that Flavabot has entered our server, invited us to join the support server if we need any help with it, which if you have any questions after watching this tutorial, I'm happy to answer any that you might have for me, but the person and people to go talk to would be the creator and their community over on the Flavabot server. And it also does a nice job of saying, hey, the starting prefix for this bot is exclamation mark, and to get started, just type in exclamation mark help in order to get a basic idea of what all of the different commands are. It's got some bot commands where if you're on a server that has this bot, you can just invite it yourself without having to go to their website. You can ban, kick clear messages from people, nuke a channel or snipe someone. And then you've also got various music commands that you would expect of pretty much every music bot, along with a few other additions like a nightcore filter and stuff like that. So let's just start out by playing some music. Let's jump into the Listen Here channel, and then let's do exclamation search for NCS for some non-copywritten music, and then I can click one of the buttons in this pop-up to play one of the ones here that has been shown on the search results. And I think I'll play number three. Once I do that, it'll hop into the channel with me, and it'll immediately start playing some music. From there, I can also play music by either, again, searching for music, where we can do exclamation mark search for the hamster dance if we wanted to. And then we can say, I want the commercial parody version, because why not? And then I also want to search for just dance. Let's see, what do we have for that? We got a bunch of just dance move, uh, songs. Let's get number four this time. And now if at any time we wanted to skip to the next song, we could just hit skip or we can see what's currently playing in the queue by typing in queue and I can go forward and back in the queue by using these two arrows here at the bottom of the pop-up. One of the things I really like about this bot is that not only does it give you the option to use typed in commands to control it, but it also automatically gives you these buttons so you don't necessarily have to. I like to have options because some days I'm like not feeling like typing a lot of stuff and I'd rather just click on a button. And I think there's quite a few people out there who like to do the same. So what other types of functions does this bot have? It's got some utility functions. So let's see um, some info about this particular server that I'm currently on. So let's do server dash info. And it'll tell me a bunch of information about the server. And it says that I'm the server creator. It's called the Chupacabra test server. And it was created the 29th of August, 2021. So this year, because it, it was getting kind of difficult to, to test out bots on my public server. And then it says that there's a, here's all the different roles that exist from previous tutorials on the server. It shows how many emojis I have and all that good stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, what else can I look up? I can look up user info. And what is that one? I, it tells me about myself. 
So I've actually been doing stuff on... So I joined this server uh, when it was created on the 29th of August, 2021. Um, and my account was originally created back in 2015. And it even has the time it was created. That's actually kind of cool. So what else can you tell me? Let's type in help. And then we can type in leaderboard. What does the leaderboard tell us? Oh, it'll actually tell us where our server is in the server rankings. Oh, but I don't currently have a leveling system enabled, so it won't tell me anything about the leaderboard. All right, well, that's not bad. So let's stop the music. So that concludes the uh, queue, because I've stopped it. I could start it again. Ah, so after you stop it, it does in fact clear the whole queue. So if I wanted to play it again, I'd type in play. And instead of searching for music, it can just type in the name of a song and it'll just grab the first result that it would normally search for. So in this case, it's the top 20 most popular NCS songs. That's not bad. So what other options do we have here? We can check, check out the config. And then it'll also just tell us that the best way to configure the bot is to go visit the dashboard. So in here, you can see things like profile information. You can set the language for the bot. You can set the rank card color to something if you want to use the built-in leveling system. And then it'll also tell you your payment history for your premium status. So here you can see the information card here. And you can configure bot language, you can set up logs, you can configure the welcome system, and also enable tickets. That's pretty cool. You got a lot of different functionality here that isn't just music. Although I think a lot of people who are going to end up using this bot are going to be primarily after the music. So we've checked out some of the utilities. We checked out some of the music controls, moderation. And then we've also got config, so we've got language. So underneath of configuration, we can change the language, we can also change the prefix. So let's type in prefix. And then here, so the current prefix is exclamation mark. So in order to use this, we type in prefix, and then maybe let's make the new prefix... Um, dash so now i can type in dash help and it'll immediately start using that prefix instead of the default one that's actually really useful because one of the things that can get kind of annoying on a server with lots of different bots is when like three of them like all share the exact same prefix then it gets kind of confusing to try to use them i know they're trying to switch from that to using slash commands but that's not completely rolled out yet so that can be kind of a pain in the butt so what else do we want to check out before we go here? Well, let's just stop the bot by doing dash stop. And let's put the prefix back. And then from here we can go exclamation mark 24-7. So that is actually a premium command if you want to enable the 24-7 feature. And so what 24-7 does is it basically turns Flavabot into a 24-7 radio station where whatever you put into the queue, it'll automatically loop, it'll automatically loop that information, or those songs, I should say, so you can almost have a 24-hour radio station playing in your server at all times. So that's kind of nice to have. And what exactly do you get when you pay for premium? So the basic level is one euro a month, so a little bit over a buck. And that's one premium server. You don't have to vote to enable any of the features, which would mean that at least one of the features for the bot's different commands requires you to vote on top.gg, which isn't terrible. Um, you get a special role on the support server to indicate that you pay for things. Uh, unfortunately, you don't get a custom bot, nor do you get 24-7 mode. So if you pay for a little over three bucks a month, or 2.5 euro, you get two premium servers that the bot can be on. You get 24-7 mode, 300 tracks in the queue at one time. That's a lot. 
um, volume controls transferable to another server. You get some cool filters, which we saw were things like Nightcore, and you can do like a Vaporwave filter, which is really cool. You get a new special role on the server, and then if you pay for six euros a month, you get all of that, a bunch of servers that it can be on, and you can even make a customized version of the bot that is tailored to fit into the theme of your server. So not bad. It starts out relatively cheap, especially compared to some other music bots out there that want to start by charging you like five or seven dollars a month. So certainly not bad. And you get access to a lot of different features. You get a bunch of bot commands. You get a bunch of administrative commands. You can do some moderation like kick, ban, snipe, and mute people. You can use different music functions. These are all what you'd come to expect from a Discord music bot. And I do believe this one plays off of YouTube. So if you're still looking for a really powerful Discord bot that plays music, this would be a good one for you. And it's got really nice quality. And then it's also got a few utility commands to tell you like where you are on the ranking system leaderboard, turning on and off like the leveling system, seeing server information, all of that good stuff is available to you through Flavabot. And thus far, I haven't really had any problems with it. I've tried running it at a couple different times during the day on my servers, and it, it always responds snappily, and it never seems to be too overwhelmed. And it runs off of over 4,000 servers with over 2 million users, and it has 54 total commands. So if you're looking for a powerful music bot, and check out Flavabot, it might have exactly what you're looking for. I'll put video link or links to this bot in the video description below. If you have any questions, let me know. But you can also ask them over at their support server, which you can join by clicking on this button here. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good one, and I will catch you later.